Hey guys, just wanted to start this video out to uh, let you know this is a much longer video than I normally put out. Uh, it just ended up being such a good run, I just felt like I had to leave it whole and intact without speeding anything up. So, hope you guys enjoy this and let's jump to the video. What's up guys, Barry Gaming here today to do another Aspen Dungeon attempt. The last couple have been... Well, let's just say less than perfect. So this week we do have one difference though. We have an E5 Cthulhu. Hopefully this man right here will be able to take on the Sigmund waves. Really need him to do that. But let's just get this going. Throw the scary in there. Let's just jump through the first few. You know, the easy ones. Oh, really? Already have a Sigmund. We're watching this. Let's see what E5 Cthulhu can do really just need him to outlast him with his healing damage i don't care if it takes more than one attempt we can just milk him back up get him back to where he needs to be Ooh, getting low but that that resilience heals keeping him alive and that's exactly what we needed kathuga is just so much more tough this week all right da let's just skip Don't need that. Uh, all right, we're gonna throw Cthulhu back in here again. Let's just top him off. Yeah, he should have no problem with this wave now. Absolutely no problems. Perfect. Perfect, that is what we made you for. All right. Aiden's. Uh, I think Scary usually does pretty good. We'll watch this one just to be sure. I'm going to leave this Scary in because he has the damage reduce artifact on. The other one has offensive. Alright, just don't insta-kill yourself. Oof, close, but good. All right, oh, looks like another suicide type wave. Let's just do this one more time. I'm pretty sure this is an easy wave, though. Might hurt him quite a bit, but that's what we have potions for. All right, let's throw this scary in. I'll show you how scary typically does against healer type waves like this. Then again, it is just one Vesta in it, but overall, he just he manages to nuke them all down through all the healing. Gru, super easy. Actually, it helps him heal up towards the end of the fight when it's just him versus Gru. Alright, Mickey. I think what we did last time... I think we did Garuda. Let's see what Garuda does. Really wish I would remember these things more and pay more attention, but when it comes to Aspen Dungeon, this is like the one fun part of the game to me. I'm not... I don't ever really take it too seriously. Yeah, I can't even really touch Garuda at all. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Karim, let's go scary once again. Just give him a bit of a heal just in case some randomness happens here. But that should be enough. Field should be the same. I usually give him a couple extra milks though, just in case, because if he gets chain stunned, sometimes it can be bad. But overall, like you see, it's it's, it's not a bad wave for him. All right, go back to Cthulhu. Easy wave. So happy, so so happy. I got Cthulhu up. Uh, let's go with Scary again. I think this was an easy one last time as well. I know, already. Blasting through the first 10 levels, that's a good sign for us. Omivore, pretty sure that's another easy one right here. Just keep scary a little higher. We don't want this to end too. Oh, wow. Wow. That was a little close. All right. Let's, uh, let's get scary back up and, and keep pushing. Let's just top him off since last time it was very close. And once again, very close. Ooh, look at this. We got the new Faith Blade. 
I wonder. I'm guessing it's just a different model, but still the same ability since they normally do not change the PvE environment heroes. So let, let's see how this goes. I'm pretty sure this used to be an easy fight. Yeah, it looks like it. So long as he doesn't get nuked down, he should kill him right here. Be fine. All right. At least he looks better now. Another omnivore wave. This is crazy. I mean, I'm not complaining because they're waves I can handle, but I just, I always seem to get Sigmund and Sleepless and constantly, ooh, Vessa. This right here is why you want an Amon Ra on your team. J just watch. Might take a little bit, but you essentially just stay at full health and watch Vessa nuke herself to death. Dead. Ooh, I think I'm buying that one. Sleepless. Hmm. I think usually one scary does fine against Sleepless. Oh no. I guess he does not. Let's put Garuda in there and watch. I should have known. Sleepless is the bane of my Aspen existence. All right, just live through this one. All right, good to go. Get a big active, heal back up. And then the next one, I feel like she might just nuke him right here. Yep, there we go. Jara wave, interesting. Let's go back with this scary. Throw a cup of milks in here just so he uh, doesn't get completely CC'd to death. And let's see how he does. Ooh, not that much damage. Ooh, that hurts. Come on, just live right here. Oh, no. Jara, I hate you. All right, back to Garuda. And she kills three. Oh, only two. Interesting. Well, let's see if Kathuga and Garuda can carry us. I'm hoping we can get at least decently far with these two, especially since Kathuga is E5 now. All right. Kathuga, I just want to watch this. I have a feeling this is going to be a super simple fight. Oh, yeah. Yep. 100% HP the whole time. Field. Let's go with Garuda. Most of these I'm going to watch from here on out just because I haven't seen Garuda actually perform. I've used her and just skipped over fights, but I'd like to see how her matchups actually work. Mim. I feel like Kathuga could do pretty good here. What do you think? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Especially once one dies, the dot will do no damage to him, hopefully. And it looks like they're just killing themselves with his dot. Honestly, I don't care if he stays petrified this whole fight. He's just gonna... They're just gonna kill themselves. Oh, I love the new Kathuga. I love... Look at that. Full health against Mimwave. That is amazing. Alright. Ooh, double Sigmund. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go with the Demon Potion. Let's go. Demon Potion... Gets one damage. It's not going to be a lot or anything, but it, it, gets, it starts him out on the right foot. Let's see how his healing does against two. I feel like this might be easier than versus the one big Sigmund. Yeah, it looks like it. It's actually easier than the solo Sigmund. More bleeds and burns getting dished out. Good to go. Yeah, Demon Potion. Perfect. Um, Let's go back with Garuda against D.A. One part that's going to suck is he's constantly going to be draining her energy. We just got to hope one of these times she gets an active off, which even if she doesn't, I mean, she's winning the slow fight even if she doesn't get an active off. All right, Faith Blade. Hmm. Let's watch this one too. We're about halfway to death, so that's not bad. Better than I was expecting. I think our record is about 84. Ooh, that was a lot, but that heal at the end, ooh, so good. And one thing, I am running her balance strike again this time. I took off Unbending Will, usually because the fights I want her against are against heroes that have mark damage, so it's kind of useless anyway. Let's throw Cthuga in here. Fight Queen should be an easy one. Mm, 
man, he is just so tanky. And right now on my Cthulhu, I don't have enough dust to get his gem up. So I think I only have like a C4 stone on him right now. And it's pure HP. And then I have, I think, Fearless Armor on him as well. So just damage reduce. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here is Garuda. We're going to use a Demon Potion. Just hopefully she can nuke the Vesa in the back right away. Ooh, close. Yep, yeah, there we go. Awesome or passive. Now this should be simple. These two might take a bit just because of lowering crit, lowering attack. But, eh, I don't, I mean in the long run, she'll win. Rosa doesn't really have a way to heal, so eventually he's going to drop. And then once Rosa drops, it'll just make Gru that much easier to kill. And if we have to, I feel like Cthulhu might do well as well with uh, his bleed damage, his bleed and burns. Eh, eh, she'll get him eventually. And there we go. Perfect. All right, 78. We're doing good. Oh, sleepless, sleepless. I hate you, sleepless. I really, 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 really hate you. Please die. Die. Oh, no. That's not that much damage. Hopefully, she can live through this. All right, kill both of them. Kill them a second time now. And hopefully she kills them here. Yep, awesome. Yes, I will take those for free. Ooh, another healing wave. So you know what we're going to do? Pop another demon potion. Let's watch this. We have not seen Garuda versus a wave like this before. We've only used scaries, and scaries usually have no issue with this at all. Let's see if she can kill someone right here. Yep, got one kill. This should be an easy wave as well. Probably didn't even need the demon potion at the beginning. It's just, you know, a nice safety net to have. Two down. Bell rain should go down on the next one pretty easily. There we go, and then just Michelle. Might need to fight her one more time just because she's got Bell Rain's heal. Ooh, that's a nice one. You gotta love watching Garuda use her active ability. And there we go. All right, let's keep pushing. We got up to 80, 20 to go. Aiden's, hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Four Aiden's. I feel like Cthulhu do really good against Aiden. Especially when there's four targets. I feel like Cthulhu is so good because every time he's hit, his burn and bleed just goes everywhere. And everybody gets covered in it. Yep. Blood blade, bleeding, poison. Yeah, we're just going to stick with Cthulhu here again. Just top him off just in case I'm afraid of getting stun locked. But again, I think Cthulhu really thrives when there's four targets because he's getting hit so many times and that burn and bleed just stacks up so fast there we go all right that one should be an easy one we've seen that fight before no point to watch it Karen, that should be an easy fight for him as well no contest Margaret. Ooh, defeat. I'm hoping that means... Okay, yeah. I had a feeling. So let's throw Garuda in here. He was probably just stunned and couldn't out-deal her... Or out-damage her heal. There we go. Nice and dead. Alright, 14 to go. Ooh, same wave again. I will take the easy wins. Come on, guys. Let's get to death. We can do it. More free stuff. Yes. Hmm. Let's watch it. I don't think she needs a demon potion or anything. Let's save that for one of the harder waves. I feel like she might actually... Yeah, she's doing pretty good damage. They'll heal back up. But I don't think they have the damage to actually kill her is the thing. Especially with her balance strike now as well. She gets little heals back and forth. And... Oh, wow. Only one dead. Passive almost killed them, but... One more round. And the nice thing is she'll go pretty close to full health again. Ooh, okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. 
Now, do we use a potion on Groot? No, no. Let's go with Cthulhu. I'm just going to top him off. Discharge from Valentino is rough. But again, there's four targets. So I feel like Cthulhu does. This is like where he does the best. Even if he's chain stunned, they just slowly kill themselves. And of course, since they're all bleeding and burning, he's not all, or activating. He's, or sorry, using his active and removing those burns. So every time they hit him, he just heals right back up. Awesome. Ooh, now this one might be a little different, but let's take a look. The discharge, static discharge, it does so much damage. All right, come on, you can take this. Plus they have faction advantage, this can get scary. Come on, just live one, come on, kill, kill at least one or two of them. Oh no. Okay, good. Whew. I swear Valentino is one of those scary waves for me, especially because faction advantage. Should be an easy win. We're up to 90. Come on, boys. We can do this. Sigmund. Victory. Yes. Yes. Come on. We're getting so close. Ooh, sleepless. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Garuda. Hmm. I don't know if I should use that, actually. Do you think Cthulhu would do here? I'm just so afraid of the mark damage that they have. I'm going to try Garuda. We're going to watch this. Let's see. Come on. I, I hope she doesn't get nuked down by all the marks. The mark damage is so scary on these guys. Alright, so she got back up to full. That's good. We killed two of them. We need to kill them one more time this round. If we can at least just get one, it'll make this fight so much easier. The hard part is they just keep draining so much energy that she doesn't get to use her active. Come on, right here. I need you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Close. Yes. Thank God. Whew. Uh, that one scared me, guys. I'll be honest. That one really scared me. I hate Sleepless. You guys know this. So, I think she did good last time. But what do you guys think about Cthulhu against this? Because he will just keep stacking that bleed and burn up. And I don't think they can out-damage his healing. And plus, honestly, I don't mind if he sits in the stun. Because, I, yeah, look, I mean, the burn and bleeds just are almost faster than the healing. Man, Cthulhu is a lot better in Aspen than I originally gave him credit for. Yeah, they go back up, but, again, they just, they just keep killing themselves. We might need to use a Garuda, though. From, ooh, almost got him. He gets very close to one-shotting them. I feel like if he can sit in that for a couple times. But, um, yeah, let's just watch it one more time. I want to see since there's there's only three targets, so there's less damage being dealt out to them with the burn and bleed. But every one of them is guaranteed to get hit with the burn and bleed now. I think we just got to get lucky on a crit on Bell Rain, And once that happens, we just got it made. Yeah, maybe not. I think we're going to have to throw a Garuda in here and see how she does. Let's throw in Garuda. We have no Demon Potion, so let's just see how this goes with her at zero energy. Which might be better, though, because it gets her a couple more feathers. And close. Again, I don't think they have the damage to actually kill her. There we go. We got one of the heals down. Bell Rain is just the biggest pain right here. We need to one-shot her. There we go. Come on, boys. We're on the way to death. Finally, after so much time. Oh, you have no idea how good this felt. Ever since I got Garuda and then Cthulhu, it's just it's made this team so strong. So I think last time we did Garuda, let's just do it again. I think she's the uh, the answer for this wave. Ooh, she's taking a lot of damage. She needs to not... Ooh, come on, get back. Yep, there we go. Ooh, she did not kill anybody. This is scary. I think she's going to die right here, guys. Yep, those marks are just so brutal. So now we're going to have to rely on Cthulhu. We're at 94. Come on, Cthulhu. You can do this. Just have... Yeah, just bleed everywhere. 
Man, I should've just been using him from the beginning. Look how easy that is for him. They're just killing himself while he's sitting there petrified. Man, I should really save Garuda for the healing waves then. That is not bad. Feel this should be a... You should have a field day on him. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I know. Stupid joke. Sigmund, double Sigmund, victory again. We're getting close, boys. We're getting close. Come on. Faithblade. I've never actually watched a Faithblade wave, so let's watch it. But again, four targets. He should thrive right here. Just watch those bleeds start ticking. Oh, just killed himself on the attack. Oh, it's so enjoyable to watch people kill themselves when they're attacking you. Oh, I will take a free way. I'm just, I'm just potioning up. We're, we're being safe. Skip it. All right, guys. Here we go. Hell 100. We got a healing wave, but if we can kill Gru, I know, I know my Amon Ra can kill the Vesa. I don't know if it's going to be too much healing, though, guys. It looks like it might be too much healing, and now I regret having Garuda die, because she could just nuke one of them. We're gonna have to try Amen Ra. We're gonna have to try Amen Ra, because this is not gonna happen. Oh, I can't believe it. It's just like every Reddit post ever. All right, Amen Ra, I believe in you. Just kill one of them and don't die. Yeah, okay, that was good. Yep, deal the damage. Just keep putting that. Yep, more and more damage. All right, yep, get another mark. Let's just take Gru out. Get get one of them. Just keep focusing on one of them at a time. It's close. I don't know if she's going to be able to do it. Maybe over the course of a couple fights? Especially when she petrifies one of them. It just kind of lets it, the heels eat away at them. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, that was so good. All right, let's get you back up here. Guys, I feel this. Come on, wish for me here. Come on, give me all your luck. I'm just topping her off. I'm taking no risk. Hell 100. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, get the mark. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. Right here on Vessa's active. Yes! And now, Vessa, you are just going to kill yourself so easily. Boys, we did it! Oh. Guys. Ready, ready, ready? Death! We finally did it! Oh. You have no idea how good that feels. I've always been against building those solo carry Adas, Valkyrie, things like that. Hey, I don't even care if we just get nuked to oblivion here. Yep, just just die. That's fine. Oh, well, he's still holding his own, but eh, we got some deaths. I guess the next video is going to see how good Cthulhu does in death. I feel like this. Let's just let's just kill her off. Yeah, okay. Guys, death one. We finally hit the save point. The almighty save point. You, I can't believe it. And you should see. I mean, I'm still, what? So death one in my server is still rank 22. Yeah. But I've been, man, I think I was back at 30 earlier. Or no, 29. Here I am. Oh, feels so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did this time. This was a blast. I am so happy it finally worked out. Cthulhu E5. If you have not built him, do so. Maybe not if you have a Horus, but build a, build a Cthulhu. Definitely. Make sure you guys leave comments. Make sure you're subscribed for the giveaway. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.